Holy shit, guys, we beat a world record. Okay, I don't know if it's a world record or not, but we're going the distance, man. I'm doing it, I'm feeling it, but we're getting surrounded. I don't know if we can keep going, guys. Come on, keep the hype alive. Yo, dudes, what's going on? My name is Skylint. Welcome, friends and family. This is gonna be a first look at a game called Swarm Lake, and we're not in game yet because basically as soon as you launch the game, shit hits all the things. <laughs> like, it's insane. So the game's called Swarm Lake, and it's actually from the same developer here. Dominique, am I saying this right? A uh, gray shelfer? Sure, he's actually the guy who made Refunct, and if you know Refunct, it actually made my $5 uh, game list. I really appreciate Refunct a lot. Really simplistic, minimalistic, but actually, like, very subtle game that actually has a lot of depth to it, surprisingly. I think Swarm Lake is the same as well. I don't know why it says in cart, because I, I actually, like, own it. So, anyways, okay. So, I, I have Swarm Lake. I just played it for just a little bit. I just got my footing into the game. And I've seen actually everything the game has to offer already. So this is kind of a weird first look, but it's it's a really short, very cheap game at under a dollar. Now, I know I already did a top ten dollar list, but uh, you know, I think this might actually make the list again. Uh, this is definitely a really sick game. Uh, so we're going to jump into it immediately. You guys are going to see. So library, Swarm Lake, let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. Swarm Lake, Dominique, Grace Schofer. Uh, it's a first person shooter. You have a shotgun. You have a minigun, whatever, um, and it's a plat, you're in, a, you're in this arena that actually is an infinite arena, so you, you don't, you're not gonna fall off, um, but it's a platformer in a way, kind of, oh boy, low poly art style, here we go, um, I got to 482, so we're gonna try to beat that, <laughs> I don't know what the 482 means as a score, uh, but there's a couple of different enemies, and basically you're gonna be familiar with this game if you ever played Devil Daggers, which made my best top $5 games list as well, you guys ready for this, this is basically Devil Daggers, uh, but cutesy, and then just basically turned up to 11. It's it's insane. 10,000 enemies on the screen at once, apparently. So, uh, use your shotgun to bounce and your machine gun to kill. Ready? Are you ready? Am I ready? I don't think I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> um, okay, so the red ones actually bounce back stuff. Um, then you get these like little triangle missile things that spawn uh, at the same level you are, and they got these eyeballs that are chasing you. Also, the soundtrack, please listen to that. It is actually pretty good. Okay, and you can, oh. Okay, so I got to 17. So yeah, this is gonna be one of those games where you die quite often, quite often a little bit. Here we go. Now, this game, I, I bought this game within the first moments of seeing the trailer. Like literally the first seconds, it said, okay, fight 10,000 enemies on the screen at one time. I saw the trailer, it looked just like this, and I was like, okay, I'm buying that. What, it's under a dollar right now? Oh yes. Oh yes. Better believe it. Um, and it, it's, it just seemed like a really cute, fun game that maybe could be used to warm up, you know, whenever you're about to play Overwatch ranked or something. Um, actually, actually, it's 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 got some pretty serious mechanics going on with it. Uh, as you can see, you can use your shotgun to bounce uh, off of solid objects, so you can actually see the enemies and you can bounce off of them. You can bounce off the platforms. Oh wow! I think we just killed something really big there. So yeah, thousand enemies. Got to look out for everything. Got to look out for everywhere, anywhere, all the time. I don't even know what I'm saying. I can't even think right now. Oh boy. Um yeah, we're we're getting swarmed actually a little bit. Oh fuck! Oh my duckle. Okay, so we're getting swarmed. We we're getting swarmed just a little bit there. Uh, okay. So, I, okay. Let me let me get my thoughts together. So there's like these green triangles. I don't know what the green triangles were. Are those power ups of some kind? Is it like devil daggers? Do you get like an extra homing thing? I don't know what that is. Maybe that's the points. Are we supposed to collect those? Maybe I should be collecting those. Uh, but you have a couple of different enemies. Uh, and they kind. It seems like they spawn where you're looking, and then some might spawn where you're moving. And so you got to kind of, it's kind of like a platformer-y shooter kind of thing. Um, so I, I am doing a top 10 right now on the best games to play to uh, warm up FPS aim. So Devil Daggers is on this list. But since this game is so similar to Devil Daggers, I don't see why it wouldn't make the list either. Especially since it's so hyperactive and you have to constantly be looking around in order to propel yourself. Because you actually use your shotgun to actually jump and move around in the game. Now there's only like two weapons in the game. There's only like three enemy types that I can see. But still, this is exciting. Come on, we're gonna keep, we're gonna keep it coming. We're gonna keep it coming. We're gonna try to go as far as we can. Um, hopefully, you guys, get excited for that. So yeah, as you can see, it goes infinitely. And this is what I want to say, guys, is that even though right now it seems like a super simple game, this guy makes games that appear incredibly minimalistic and pure, and they are pure. But there's little tiny details that if you're like me, you went to school for game design, or you just really appreciate really subtle good game design then I think you're gonna be able to like this guy's games, and I think this one as well. Especially, you know, for a dollar. No excuse not to have it, guys. I think you can go a day without, <laughs> you know, the dollar menu. Uh, pick up this title. All right, so I'm not sure how to uh, actually get the most out of my momentum. I think you gotta wait until the, oh. 
Yeah, I was about to say, I think you gotta wait until you're actually kind of near uh, some things. What, what are these things? Oh. Yeah, so you gotta wait until some enemies are near, and then you can actually jump off of them. So, like, when the horde starts getting closer to you, you can do that. Now, you see me kind of just backing away. Um, I don't know if that's actually the right way to go. Maybe I could run forward? I think you can actually run on the ground as well and kind of take advantage of how things are spawning. Oh, oh, we're getting too close, getting too close. Okay, so now we gotta move away. So you gotta watch out for that. You can kind of corral them around yourself and things and stuff and run run around, run around. Kill these things, kill these things. Jump around, jump, jump, jump. Yeah, yeah, I think I got it. It's kind of like jump rope, guys. This is FPS jump rope, let's go, baby. <laughs> FPS double dutch. Ah, oh, crap. I'm not collecting, but if I if you keep running away, you're not collecting the uh, the green triangles. I think you're supposed to collect those. So I think I got to be a little bit more brave. All right, let's get back into it. Let's go. Let's do it. All right, let's collect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coll collecting, doing doing a collect. All right, we're doing it, guys. We're doing it. We're going ham. All right, let's jump in the air. All right, let's run in circles. Get this, get this, get this, and jump. Okay, woo. Gotta find the circles above you. Can you guys even see? Can you even see this game at 60 FPS? Because I'm playing at 142, man, and we're going wild. We're going wild, woo! Whoa, oh, oh man, we, okay, so, see, that that time, even though we didn't last that long, we actually collected more of the di- Okay, okay, oh, more of the emeralds. Are they emeralds, technically? So, yeah. Um, so somebody actually alerted me um, on my Discord that they were like, Hey, Sky, you know the maker of Refunct, he actually- made a new game. Uh, are you going to play it? Did you buy it? And I was like, oh shit, he did? And so, yeah, thanks so much for letting me know on the Discord, uh, Violet Lips. Thank you so much. And if you guys want to join the Discord community, please click the link in the description, dude. I'm there non-stop. I have it on my phone. Uh, we just sit there and talk about games, criticize them, uh, talk smack about them, but also, you know, keep the hype alive. Absolutely. absolutely, freaking lootly dudes. That's what we do here. You know, I'm pretty, I'm pretty good at aiming, but Gosh dang, this is more of like a strategy game. Uh, and this is this is more about keeping your, like, warming up your arm and making sure that you can actually look around. You know, keep, keep your uh, surroundings aware. <laughs> Be aware of your surroundings, and that's, that's what I need to do. Um, I think a lot of FPS players need to learn that too. It's not just about fine detail aim, it's about, like, actually moving your arm around. Uh, stop being lazy, dude. Being a lazy aimer is actually a big problem that stops a lot of people from climbing in games like Overwatch or, you know, maybe maybe Counter-Strike you can get away with it because it's more of a tactical game. But games like Overwatch or Arena Shooters, nah, dude. You gotta be looking all over the place, so. Holy shit, guys, we beat a world record! Okay, I don't know if it's a world record or not, but we're going the distance, man. I'm doing it, I'm feeling it, but we're getting surrounded. I don't know if we can keep going, guys. Come on, keep the hype alive. Let me know how I'm Okay, 612. All right, 612 achievement unlocked. 600. Feels good, man. So, yeah, uh, are, are you listening to that soundtrack? I'm, I'm asking you, are you listening to that soundtrack? Because it's fire, dude. It's actually pretty decent. Um, I kind of want to keep playing just for the soundtrack. And unlike some other games, there are some other games like on mobile, I think like the Impossible game, where the, the song keeps uh, restarting. Luckily, this game, it just kind of picks up where it left off. So, I mean, if you want to keep jamming, if you just kind of want to zen out, I don't know, some people wouldn't call this zen. I would, you know, as a competitive player. If you just want to zen out and jam out, dude, you totally can. It's actually a freaking good song, dude. At that kind of like, you know, electronic, what, EDM, dubstep? I don't know the technical genres, man. I'm not a music reviewer. Nah, my tastes are way too specific, but even with my specific tastes, I'm actually really feeling this. Low poly art, this electronic music, FPS gameplay, pure FPS gameplay, um, that platforming, three-dimensional FPS platforming gameplay, it's just, it's just fun, dude. This is just a fun game, it's a dollar game, absolutely. As somebody, as somebody who just really appreciates shit like this, man, I gotta shout it out, absolutely. Gotta shout it out. And if you guys have any more really weird, fun, cute little games like this, please let me know. If it's a Game Jam game, if it's, you know, on itch.io that you can play for free, um, you know, if it's a cheap little game, just let me know. Any indie game, dude, I love sh I love shouting it out. A lot of people think I'm too critical, I'm too salty. The truth is, guys, I, I just love games. I love games so much. Gaming, gaming is the best. Gaming is the best. Oh my god, look how epic this is. This is just insanity. Oh my gosh, this is just so cool. Oh wait, can I actually use it to jump down? This is just the best. Something like something so pure in arcade is this? And people say arcade games are dead. Do you see this in arcades? You should, as this would be sick. <laughs> I'd play it with a trackball. Oh man, okay, so 
that's pretty much it. Yeah, you, you basically this is a first look, but at the same time, it's kind of a review because it's like, yeah, this is the whole game. But I like it. OK, I can't I can't say it enough. I, I think it's just pure. It's distilled uh, type of gameplay. But at the same time, even though it is so fundamental, it's actually still kind of original, even though I can compare it directly to uh, Devil Daggers, which is also another fun game. Um, So, yeah, that's it, guys. <laughs> Swarm Lake. Thanks, guys, for watching. My name is Skylink. Keep the hype alive. Links in the description if you want to support me. You know, keep this stuff, you know, going that we can share and, and play these cool experiences together. Um, but I just want to say thanks for watching again. Hope you guys had fun. Much love. I'm Skylint, and I'll see you in the next one.